Hi guys! Hey everyone! Welcome to Make 2 and a, another episode of our Let's Play in Minecraft The Searchers on the PC. It is a beautiful morning and I'm almost the exact square that I left off with you guys last episode when we found this beautiful, beautiful mountain range by a wonderful piece of sea and a whole bunch of beautiful stuff over here as well. Ooh. You don't want to get ahead of ourselves. Been busy. I'm going to go up here. First of all, where is here? What are we? Where are we? Where First of all, let's this? just get a let's get a view from up here, okay. and then I'm going to show you everything, and then we're going to go on a little bit of an adventure today. Look at those trees. Cool at the top. I know. I think they're acacia trees, but they're yeah. really dramatic looking. Yeah. So this is where we explored last time with our horsey. After we eventually learnt how to ride a horse. We now know forever and ever and ever that you cannot take horses into water unless you are leading them by a lead. I didn't mm. know that. Now we do. This is land. We're surrounded by desert on this side. We have desert over here. There's a village over there we saw right at the end of the last <laughs> episode. I'm excited about that. And I thought we'd go and check that out today. I haven't explored over here, but if you see over here, yeah. I've started to make a home, make a little farm. Did you collect all those cows? Um, no, I collect some and I made others. I bred some cows to other cows and made more cows. <laughs> so I had two, I think, originally, and now I have more. And I have these two horses I've tamed over here. Those and cows are almost going to run out of room in their little yeah, enclosure. Yeah, I don't think they do. Okay. Um, but who knows? And over here, there were no trees, but I've planted some trees because I like growing trees. And it looks like you need wood to build mm -hmm. things like yep. this building that we're standing yeah, on Yeah, so top this of. is a five by five house. It uh, will or has appeared in our Minecraft Pocket Edition Let's Build a World, which we call Maketopia. And I'm also going to do a tutorial of how to do it. It's a cute little house. It's got some nice little lines. It's actually really small inside. Um, and this is the, the whole room is two by two. <laughs> uh, there's chests on the floor with stuff in. There is a chest up here. <laughs> There's a crafting table over there, and there's a furnace over here. So it's really packed to the gills, and I'm running out of space super fast. So I think I'm going to have to upgrade and build somewhere bigger. So here we have our cute little cows. Hello, cows. Let's see if we can lure them over here and get them to look over at us. <laughs> they just came swarming towards yeah. you. Make another couple of cows? I mean, sure. Gosh. Come on. Okay, these two cows are now going to make a baby cow. <laughs> that little tinkle was a baby cow. <laughs> okay. Can, Here you, we can have... you do the same with horses? Um, I think with carrots. Oh, let me get rid of the axe. I don't want to do anything. Um, I don't have any carrots. Let's get on this horse and just look around. So I think I read this online. That if you do this setup with fences, even though the horses can walk out, they don't know that they can walk out. This particular very complicated setup. Yeah, with... Just two fence posts, a block of one, and then two fence posts, because it's actually too wide. But because it's actually one in the middle, and a half on that side, and a half on that side, the horses just think it's one. Okay. And they can only go through things that are too wide. So they don't know this is actually big enough for them to go through. But if I was riding one of these beautiful stallions with a saddle, I'd be able to direct them through safely. And so far, they've, they've been yeah, staying, and they like seem they pretty content. So one question, I noticed that you also had a set of stairs going down underneath yes. your house. I've been doing a little bit of mine. You want to see over here first, then we'll go down. Sure. This is... Sure. This is, <laughs> I want to know about the big hole in the I ground. I know. This is my farm, and we need to do a little bit of farming. I've just been making a whole bunch of corn. All of this is corn apart from this, which are carrots. I'm not sure if they're ready yet. But let's collect all of our uh, corn wheat. It's wheat, isn't it? <laughs> so here we have a whole bunch of wheat, and we collected 19 wheat, so that's pretty good. Do you have to replant it? Yeah, we can replant it, just take the seeds. While it stays, this ground has still been tilled, you can still put your seeds back in it. This sort of nice reddish-brown colour. This is a cute little farm patch, or a garden patch, rather. Yeah. Um, and it is nice actually being able to grow some wheat. I've made some bread, mm. which means I don't need to eat fish. I can be a bit more of a vegetarian, but also means I can make wheat to breed cows and stuff and give them food to keep them happy. And you're killing the cows, right? For things? I haven't yet. <laughs> I haven't had the heart, but I could do. So here are some stairs. Oh my goodness. 
I now I have very very grand ideas. Wow. So here's the start. I'm going to change the entrance way, but this goes down to our mine. And let's go take a look. <gasps> what? Okay, so you put water <laughs> down. It's okay, so we don't die. Yeah, that's so there's good. just some water there, and that's how we get back up again. Nice. How fun. Mm -hmm. Now, you might hear some skeletons. There's some skeletons around here. Now, found there's a lot of lava oh, wow. because we are at level 10 or 11 here, huh. which is perfect diamond mining country. And this is the start of my strip mine. This is the first row of the strip mine. Okay. Now, why have I got a long tunnel and then starting my strip mine? Why did I not strip mine over there? Well, I have... <laughs> I was all playing around on Pocket Edition on my phone, which is actually a really good way, I find, for sketching in Minecraft. And I had plans for a grand entrance that would kind of stretch from here all the way back to over there mm -hmm. and be absolutely massive. And it's going to take me a very, very, very long time because it's just like bigger underground than anything I've built overground. But it would look really cool when it's done. So I don't want to make, I want to mean I can at some point in the future do it. So I've sort of just counted out the space I'd need to make. What's that noise? So that was a spider, but the first noise was just an underground ambient noise. Okay. Sometimes okay. I read about this online and watched a YouTube video. There are just a whole bunch of ambient underground cave noises <laughs> that mm. the game puts in to freak you out. It sounded kind of ghostly. Mm -hmm. It did sound ghostly um, and spooky, and I didn't like it. Talking about things I don't like and talking about things that are spooky. I think I've already got on me a boat. Oh, I've got a boat and a bed. I just want to see if I can find it. I had one item. I have an ender pearl. Oh, yes. Do you remember, I remember this? this? We didn't record it, but I was trying to sleep and doing a bit of mining, and I just heard the nasty, nasty squeak of an enderman. And it, you know, I said it wouldn't let me get to sleep. And it was just for like... A whole day or more, it turned out. It was just standing right on that step there. That's what happens when you have like little alcoves in but it's your lit. modern looking house. I know. It was just standing there, didn't move, didn't evaporate in daytime, didn't do anything. And I just had to come out and kill it and I got an ender pearl. But it was just, oh, they are really creepy. They just make such, I think it's kind of like a fox. If any of you have ever had foxes in your garden, they make just nasty noises. You're like, why? They sound like screaming babies. Yeah. So it's like a screaming baby thing. Mm. So I've got a boat ready. Yeah. I've shown off everything apart from my little forest. Mm -hmm. Let's go over to the village. Okay. We're going to see people. These are the first people that we've seen in um, our entire series. Yeah, apart from series witches. So far. Yeah. It's cute that it's just right across the water. I know. You're like a solitary farmer just right across the water from the village, and they probably wonder about you and why you're so strange. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, there's potentially lots of stuff I can steal from them or take. I'm not going to do any of that Aww. today because I want to make friends. Do people do that? I don't know. <laughs> oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Come back, come back. Do you have to, like, leash your boat onto anything, or do you just shove I it onto the land? Ugh. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna have to get that back later. <laughs> it's just gonna. It's got. Can't go that far. So our house, okay. we can't even see it from over here. We can just about see it. Mm. The only other thing I did, I did start to explore a couple of little caves over there, and there was that massive chasm we found last time. Hello, Mister Person. Let's go and talk to Mister Villager. Hello. Okay, he wants. Okay, we're. This is for trading. This cleric you, wants. You barely even got to say hello, and he it's wants. It's just like to money, already, money, 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 money. Yeah. Hello. Oh. Hello. Hey, oh. Again, you barely said hello and they just want to trade. Mm -hmm. So they will give you an emerald? They will give me emeralds. The only thing I can do with an emerald is buy stuff from villagers with it. Okay. Now, what I would like to do, Mr. Villager, is stay the night in your place. I don't have any of these things with me. I do have wool, Goodness. but I didn't bring it with me. But, you know, it's good to know the lay of the land. I like how they've got lots of, like, different outfits and stuff. That's yeah. cool. And then let's see if we do this. See, I could buy with a book and 41 emeralds. I could buy a, an enchanted book. Oh, wow. I see. And this guy wants paper. I don't have... Hmm. I don't have any paper yet. Are there any lady villagers? I think they're all just, just unisex just villagers. just walked into his house. Okay, this also wants pork chops. And... Or raw chickens. Hmm. I don't have either of those. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I like nice. how their houses are so desert themed. I know, it's cute. 
Cute. What's mm-hmm. this thing? This. Oh, this is a forge. This is for the... Oh, I meant the thing that was standing up. I think that's just a lamp. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to go into the library. Oh. Now, I could probably take these. I'm not going to do it because I don't know if that gets me in trouble. And it's, a, it's a library. You can borrow, right? Yeah, borrow means literally break down. <laughs> Got it. I'm going to put a bed, I You're think, just right here. squat in the library for the night. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. These guys are moving fast. Oh, look, they know it's nighttime coming. They're all going to hide oh, inside see. as well. Interesting. You come inside. Hello there. Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> we all had the same plan. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. <laughs> are you going to leave your bed here? I guess so. Uh, no, because I'm, I'm stuck. Unless I get rid of these bookshelves. <laughs> uh, let's take it with me. I'm going to get home by night time. I have confidence. Now, let's see. Let's not hit you. Oh, he's a different a purple one. one. Purple or pink? Oh, more rotten, rotten flesh. flesh. Or Ooh. eight gold ingots for one emerald. Jeez. Wow, this is expensive. And then I wonder what the exchange rate in reverse is. Like, if you have one emerald, what are they willing to give you? Yeah, well, emerald? I saw before one em- or eight emeralds, I think, in a book. Mm-hmm, right. I could get an enchanted book. But that's the thing. Like, you also have to have come up with a book. Yeah, let's see. What does this give me? Oh, seven emeralds. For an iron pickaxe with lots of damaged stuff. Iron axe, right? Not an just iron axe, yeah. Are you literally going to steal stuff? What are you doing? What a terrible... He's like looking at you with an accusing expression because he knows what you just did. Oh my gosh. Literally? I'm just... Wow. Wow. Just um, not very nice. Um. <laughs> he doesn't seem to mind. Oh Although gosh. they are kind of mobbing me. Ooh, look at all these. Ooh, and he's got lava here. This is really cool. I've never seen one of these before. Did we go in this one? This is cool. I just stole a whole bunch. I just... Oh, okay. No. Managed to find a whole bunch of iron from these kindly villagers. Hello, sir. Okay, I have nothing that you want. They really want that raw pork chop. <laughs> or zombie flesh. Gosh, okay. Well, this you, has been. What do you think they do with zombie flesh? I, ooh, that is a really good question. <laughs> I don't know. Is this a well? So this is the well. Okay. We're not going to go down there today because it's going to be a bit of an excavation to see if there's anything beneath that. But this has been. I think this is a cute little village. Yeah. I'm happy to call can these you take people their my neighbors. Also. Apparently ooh. so. Um. Gosh, I've I've got a taste for it now. Oh my goodness! I mean, this is just. You're, what did I get? I got some potatoes. That's so nice. You're like a rampaging Viking all uh, up in the middle of their stuff. Like, you better watch out. They might come after you in the night. Oh, gosh, together, you're right. And attack you know. your farm. Mm. No. They just seem kind of. Um, yeah, they're pretty pacifist. Yeah, what are these they're things? They're just like going to let Ooh. you do whatever you want to do. Ready made carrots. I'm hope- I wonder if they plant them again. Like, if I come back, will they have planted more carrots? <laughs> Carrots are good because carrots, I think, are useful for both keeping horses happy. And let's leave one carrot for them. I'm not all bad. Gosh, how nice you are. <laughs> What's this thing? Oh, just seeds. Oh, just more seeds. Not what I want. I want something super special. Okay, well, we've done <laughs> potatoes, carrots, a whole bunch of iron. You could have a special yourself a sword. fish stew or something. Ooh, yeah, we've got to research that. I know you can make mushroom soup and cakes. Mm. But, yeah, I think I'm going to call this village Visited. It has been officially visited. Let's see what's on the far side of the village here. Ooh, some sugar cane. I think we've kind of looked around. Be careful of... What are those things? Cactus? What happens if you... Uh, They're kind of poisonous. Oh, okay. Okay. Wow. Well, that was pretty good. (laughs) <laughs> that was a pretty interesting haul. And yeah, I think this is the first time I've ever visited a village in Minecraft. This building looks... So we could At come back... At least in survival mode, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, I've been in that one, so that's definitely pretty cool. My boat this one's is still out looking there. looking out towards your farm as if trying Wisp to... Wisp is like, just trying to assess. Mm-hmm. Mm, could I get there? Now, apparently you can also get villagers to sort of move with you places. I don't quite know how, and I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but you can, like, I dare say it, but capture them and use them for nefarious purposes. Well, I want to see, because I've read about 
rehabilitating a zombie to be yeah. like a normal villager. And I think Siri, Pixel Biologist, likes uh, collecting <laughs> zombie villagers to rehabilitate them because mm. she's very nice like that. It has to be a zombie villager, not a normal zombie. Okay. A little huh. watering hole. That's fun. Okay. <laughs> Well, these guys seem to have made a nice home for themselves in the desert, I must say. And I am happy to call them my neighbour, <laughs> because they let me take things from them. And I think I'm... Look at them all just standing there, though. It's a little bit creepy now. They're kind of yeah. like mm -hmm. children of the corn or yeah. the village or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Something of the something that isn't quite right. Yeah, like a horror movie where yeah. they've all been taken over okay. by aliens. On that happy note... <laughs> Let's get back to my boat. So it does seem like you've got a good location now for your homestead. Yeah. Because you're right near this village. Yeah, I was thinking near... of moving over here even, but I think mm. I'm happy where I am. Well, I just kind of like that area because it's flat. It's out on the water. Yeah. You've got good visibility of lots of different things. And I'm hopeful. I don't know. I think we were either talking about this in the last episode or just um, while I was... As was building one morning, but it really does just feel like I really now have a real instinct to nest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just like, now that I've started to start, oh, I've now got a house where I can build a bigger house. And now that I've got a little farm and I've got some potatoes and carrots on me, I can now build more things. And once I build more things, I can then build other things. And then I can build redstone stuff. And I don't know. I have lots of ideas, but I also have lots of places to explore up here because this is a really interesting area. Here's a question. Because of your big mine under your house like what happens are you gonna hit water oh, if dear. you mine I broke my boat <laughs> really oh uh -oh. i got some let's get the wood back <laughs> like if you have you mined down past the bottom of the water or yeah yeah okay well past but i've got like, down to what level... would happen if you mined horizontally at the water level water would, would you... flood in okay yeah got it. Same if I hit lava, lava would flood in. Okay. Yeah. So just another thing you can notice here, I'll put some torches around. I do want to make this place safe, but I don't want to just build massive walls everywhere. I do actually want to make it kind of look quite nice. Mm -hmm. So I have just tried to put torches everywhere. To <gasps> that was water. I think that was water. We almost fell in there See? last time. You need to make some fences yeah, around these I, things. That's exactly what I was going to say. I built this okay, tree here. Got it. And I put this fence here yes. to stop me because I cannot be big. trusted. This is big. This is a big, deep chasm. I'm going to be so ginger. Look at that. Can Step so ginger. I've said that before on this channel. Can you see down there just yeah, where yeah. the cursor is? Yeah. That is an abandoned mine. That is not me. Somebody left that there and yeah. there's loads of goodies down there. Yeah. So somehow I would like there. to get down there, not get killed, get stuff and come back out. I think build another big ladder like you did under your house. Yeah, but I don't know how to build them. Maybe I should build at the side, like in my own little hole. What was that noise? <laughs> Sound like a pig. No? Oh, okay. There's lots to explore, lots to do. I think this might be... Oh, it's a little bunny rabbit. I thought it was going to be a foal. There's lots of cute things everywhere. And lots of holes in the ground. Lots of holes in the ground. This place is just really holy. <laughs> Uh, I did go into one that turned out to have nothing interesting in it. But there's lots of watering holes, which is really good for the... Oh, look! I wondered where he got <gasps> to. <laughs> He's got stuff on him. He's got stuff on him because I went back to my original wooden tower, my first settling post in this land. Yeah. And I thought, I need a donkey with me because you can't put saddles on a horse. What are these called? Saddlebags. Saddlebags only on a donkey. Okay. So I got a donkey put sandalbags on him after I tamed him and took him all the way back, which I think is basically straight that way to get all my stuff. Came back, unloaded him, and he wandered off. So actually, I think in those sandalbags, he still has some stuff. <laughs> I think just not much like some sandstone or something. I've lost him again. Well, <laughs> he'll turn up one day. It's around to your right, I think, yeah. but anyway. It's not that hard, actually, to tame these animals, so I can always tame another one. But, you know, it's quite hard. I think I need to get a lead. And for a lead, I need slime. And for slime, I need to find a slime chunk. And I don't know where they are. So that is definitely on my to-do list. But for right now, this has been the tour of everything we've done in our little world since last time. I've really enjoyed making a little home. 
that was very cute pretty fun (laughs) stealing stuff for want of a better word from those poor little villagers we've got the start of a farm and i think next time i'm going to make a little house for myself possibly over here not little i think a bigger house maybe in this patch here something bigger that has more than a two by two room for me to make home in and then start connecting up and we can then go exploring up on these mountains and see what else we can find sounds good so i'm going to get inside my cute little house I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and enjoyed seeing the start of our lovely little world. Please let us know in the comments what you think. And if you're new to our channel, feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Minecraft videos on the way. Thanks for watching.